Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Young Sutton and this is the second video in the three card live series where I draw three cards in front of you and you can watch and listen as I interpret them. So rather than a general daily draw today, I'm going to start addressing the questions that you so kindly shared with me. Um, I noticed a common thread among the questions, um, except for the gardening question, which I'll address in another video. I'm a gardener too, so I'm interested to see what kind of information we can get from three cards on that. Uh, but for today, uh, what all of you are most concerned with is connecting with your intuition, how, how to become fluent in the language of the cards, and how to trust what you receive. So my intention as I lay this spread is to satisfy all of those concerns. But I, I want to focus on a specific question to provide parameters for the interpretation. So let's see how much information we can get from only three cards. So first, let me just um, mention, while well, I'm using my little Grand Tableau Oracle cards, lovely little inexpensive deck, excuse me. Um, but I want to mention that I, I am fresh right now my mind is fresh and calm and clear um, it's still early in the day I'm not working it's um, I've already meditated and I just returned from, from my morning nature walk over the river and through the woods just me and my dog Beaker um, and that's like my greatest form of meditation right so I trust and expect that this reading is going to go well because of my mental and physical state. So that's where I start, right? Now I'm also feeling like swishing the cards today. So that's what I'm gonna do. And by swishing, you know, normally what I do is um, I normally shuffle like this, right? I can't do too fancy, sh too much fancy shuffling anymore because of <laughs> my arthritic hands. The cards go all over the place, all over the, they go flying all over the room. But, um, Anyway, I normally do this and then I fan them out and I, you know, choose them by feel. But sometimes when my intuition guides me, I feel like doing this. And I'm still going to pick them out by feel, okay? Some people call it heat, right? Some people say they're, they're choosing them um, by heat. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel that really. Or maybe I do, but I, I just say I pick them by feel. I kind of just like, my hand just goes to the right card. Anyway. Um, and then I'll set them out in front of you. Oh, so let me um, tell you what the question is. <laughs> so the question is, how can we connect more easily to our intuition? Okay. So that is the question. How can we more easily connect to our intuition and what I'll do you know what I'm just gonna push the cards out of the way and then I'll lay them here in under the camera all right so let me shove them over here and just pick some out okay and then oh mm, this one feels good okay and I us usually do lay them upside down first because I don't want to start forming an opinion as soon as I see that first card. Oh. Okay. Oh, look, they're all upright, too. Well, almost. Almost all. <laughs> okay. All right, so now you have three cards. Let me zoom. So now we have three cards in front of us. Keep reminding yourself of your question, which um, you should have written down, right? And I do. I have it written over here. How can we more easily connect to our intuition? Okay? And we got the clouds, the key, and the ship. So the first thing I do is I go with my first impression. And, okay, I'm thinking about how can I more easily connect to my intu intuition, I got a storm here and I'm trying to navigate and sail away from it. This is saying something like um, get out of the funk in your head or release your troubles and explore uncharted territory. 
Um, this is the card of confusion. Confusion is released by going further and discovering foreign concepts and ideas. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I, I know what these cards mean. I know what my, my uh, primary vibes or my core uh, functions, essences are for these cards. I know what the, all these cards are relate to and I'm, I'm connecting them all to the context of intuition. All right. So those are my first impressions. Now, if I weren't filming, or as my Irish husband would say, filming, if I were not filming this video right now, I would write all that down. But from my journal, I can just replay this and <laughs> write it later. All right, so that's the first thing I do is my first impressions. My second, uh, the second thing I do is to dig a little deeper. I wanna look at each card individually. And because I want to know why it showed up out of these 36 cards in this deck. Why did these three cards show up in answer to my question? Right. And I'm also going to look at directional cues and see if I want to use them or, you know, if they if they offer anything to the reading, if they bring any clarity to the reading or not. OK, so how do these cards match the story? Well, the clouds is the first card. And the story begins with confusion. Now think about it. I'm asking how to do something, which infers that I'm confused or unsure about how to do it. Yes? <laughs> and the clouds also has a directional cue, which I always follow. Um, and the dark side is touching the key. All right. Now I'll come back to that in a moment. because I want to let that gel for a moment, what, what that really means. Okay. So with regard to our question, the clouds references a fogged mind, um, lack of guidance, vagueness, smoke screens, right? Uh, what, uh, think about a smoke screen is anything that conceals or obscures or confuses. It's also the card of pretense. What, what, is, what does pretense mean? It's things that are fake or imagined. Oh my God, okay, now we're starting to get into the heart of it because people are always thinking, did I just imagine that? Or is that intuition? Is that, it, right? Okay. This is the card for pretense, things that are fake or imagined, all right? Okay, now I'm asking for a solution for something that I'm unclear about, and that's why the key is here. That's what it represents. It's the card of having access to answers. It's also when it shows up um, near my card in a GT or, in ans or near my question in a small spread, I like to say, um, it's telling me that I already hold the key. I already have the key to unlock my intuition. It's not something I have to go and buy. It's not something that somebody else can do for me or give to me. Ooh, that's good. I, we all, we all have the key already to our intuition. Okay. So we already hold the key to unlock our intuitions. So the issue is the clouds here. It's like, how do we use that key to unlock this, right? Now, my directional cue for the key says that it opens or releases the card before it. So here it's going to release the confusion, right? It's going to, yeah, oh, okay. All right. Um, the card following the key is showing the result of the key's action, right? Or, or it points to, um, points to the solution, however you want to say it. But this ship or this card in this position is telling me um, that the action to take, that the action to take for this solution here, to get out of this, right, is, is to board the ship. Okay, the ship refers to traveling, exploring, freedom, expansion. Well, that's gonna be big here, expansion. Going the distance or distancing yourself from something, right? Doesn't that look like this is distancing yourself from this? Um, it's the card of adventure and seeking opportunities for enrichment. And that's what we're asking about. It's also slow moving and quiet and a, a, it's, it's a floating thing. Ooh, okay, so you know what? Now that, it, oh, I would, <laughs> I'm going to have to replay this. But I would, all, I would be writing all that down or typing it out um, or even speaking it into my phone. You know, I do that sometimes too, right? Um, as I went along, I'd be doing all of that. Jeez, listen to those birds. Um, so that I didn't miss any of this, but, but that just pop, popped into my head. So that's going to be important. The fact that this is a floating thing. Okay. Now that what's the next thing I do? 
What was the first thing I did to recap? I, I did my first impressions. I just, I was free. I just went with whatever I saw, right? No rhyme or reason, just write down what, whatever you think when you see those cards. That's, that's number one. Next, I wanted to analyze each card separately and match it to the story, right? We just did that. The third thing we do is look at the cards descriptively, especially for this type of question, okay? This is like a spiritual type question. And we want to match those descriptors to the context, which is intuition. All right, now for you learners, use my book to help you with that. Let me show you here. Um, okay, so just go to any of the card pages. Oh, there you go, <laughs> the cross. Um, and start with your base keywords and your basic concept, okay? But then go to your broader concept and you will notice in the broader concept, there's a section for relationship and spiritual readings. Right? How, that, how this card can relate to a spiritual reading. That's important for this. Um, and of course, you'll also find your, whoops, your directional cues in here. Um, but also, um, you know, this is a question that relates to the body and mind. So you, you would want to also check the well-being section and the, right, hang on, the um, descriptive, descriptive words. Okay, so that's how the book can help you with all that. All right, let's get back to this. Um, okay, so descriptive. We're looking at descriptive meanings of these cards now. The clouds. Okay, I just mentioned well-being. <laughs> What's the clouds the anatomical card of? The respiratory tract, the lungs, breathing. This is about breathing. Oh, my God. Now, <laughs> oh man, all right, so in ancient Latin and Greek, the same word describes spirit, the soul, and the breath, the divine breath of inspiration. It's all connected. Breathing is what connects us to the realm of spirit, which is our intuition, all right? Why do you think that every guided meditation starts with deep breathing? And, and what do the people tell you to do? That, What's the first thing people say to you when you're upset? Take a breath. Calm down. Take a breath. Right? Okay? It's all about breathing. So start. You want to connect to your intuition? Start with mindful breathing. What is mindful breathing? It's, it's deep breathing. Breathing normally is very shallow. People breathe too quickly and too shallowly. Shallowly? Yeah. And, <laughs> um, yeah. No, you need to breathe deeply, slowly. I like to do in on a count of four. I hold it for a count of three or four, and then I release slowly on a count of four. Oh my gosh, does that ground me and get me focused? And Oh man, yeah, love it, okay? Um, yeah. Oh, also, by focusing on our breathing, this is another meditation technique. When you focus on your breathing, you can count your breathing, or you can just focus on I'm breathing in, I'm holding it, I'm breathing out. Just focus on how deeply you can breathe. How much air can you get into those lungs? I have a huge lung capacity. Oh my God, I, I can stay underwater forever. I used to freak my mother out in the swimming pool. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, like focus on all that. You know why? Because it's taking your mind away from your thoughts, right? That funk in your head, all of your troubles, all of your, what am I making for dinner? What do I have to do today? What blah, 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 you know? It's taking you away from all that and it's getting you to focus your mind on something that doesn't really matter, something very mundane, and that's what allows that intuition to float in. Oh my God, okay. All right, also, ooh, also consider how the clouds describes intuition. Because I keep talking about like how it's keeping you from your intuition, but how does the clouds card describe intuition? Intuition is nebulous. You can't see it. I mean, if, or you know, it's, you, you see it like you see a cloud, right? It's, it's something you can't grab or hold, get a hold of, you can't control it. It's not easy to see through it. It's hazy, it's foggy. Okay, there you go. So that, that's how the clouds describes intuition. 
All right, let's go on to the K. The K, oh my gosh. No, wait, stop. The, it, yes, it is. The key is, <laughs> oh man, the key is my card for the third eye chakra. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm looking through my book. I know it is. Yeah, of course it is. I'm just so excited. I'm like, <laughs> this is what I do when I want, see, you're getting to just hear me do this live because this is the way it is when I read cards. I get so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. All right, where is it? I know it's the, the card for my third eye chakra. Wait, do I have this on the right? Oh, no, that, that's because this is the moon. That's why I can't find it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I was looking under the wrong section. Here's the key. I don't want to burn my book up. Right here, under broader concept. There it is, chakra, third eye. Is that Ajna? Ajna? This chakra governs our intuition, clairvoyance, clairaudience, psychic abilities, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so the key is my <laughs> card for the third eye chakra, which is the seat of intuition. It's my card for an open mind and heart and the connection between them. It unlocks, it, it liberates. Oh, okay. Now the, the clouds, the dark side of the clouds here facing the keys reminded me of something else because the key locks as well as unlocks, right? So it's making me think here that the clouds is saying that the, the key um, locks up your intuition too because the, um, let, me, let me see if I can word this right. I think about locking up the analytical side of my mind, the side that analyzes and dissects facts, right? The, the left brain is loud and assertive. The right brain is quiet and receptive. Ooh, I already said quiet, didn't I? Ooh, and receptive, water. Okay, wait, it's all coming together. All right, so analysis is assertive and attempts to wrestle an answer to the ground and pin it down. The key can do that. But here we have the dark side of the clouds facing it, telling us that that's not the way to go. The ship then shows us how to navigate away from the storm, right? The ship relates to traveling away from something that no longer serves us or towards something different. It's about um, being open to doing things in a foreign way, right? That's your foreign card. Different from the traditional, to go further and to not restrict yourself, but... Um, Oh, but allow yourself to explore the furthest reaches of your mind. <sighs> okay, you can't discover new territory if you're stuck in that funk in your head. You got to try new things, be open to changing it up, experiment. Okay, so now keep in mind too that intuition, now we're getting to the water part here, intuition is very sensory. While your analytical mind reasons and operates in your head, intuition is felt. You feel intuition. It's not just a thinking thing. Okay, that's the ship. It's going into foreign territory and allowing your mind to explore with your heart. Um, ships travel on the water and water is about feeling. So intuition floats in when you quiet your analytical mind um, and your analytical mind, don't forget, it's fast. It's like a computer. Whereas intuition tends to give you something um, completely different from what your mind computed, something, something totally new. Um, and intuition requires you to be relaxed and, and open and expansive, right? When, you, when you're stuck sitting and thinking, right? Change it up to bring your intuition in. Get up, stretch. Earth, earth, right? Earth is... Um, um, changing up those, um, those ions, right? Uh, exchanging, rather, the ions. Like, so you want to touch plants, touch soil, go outside, if you, if, you know, weather permitting in your bare feet, um, stand on soil, you know, grass. Um, water, water uh, will, will earth, is earthing too. Like, wa wash your face, wash your hands, wash your feet. I love soaking my feet. Oh, anyway. Um, okay, so open and expand through mindful breathing. Um, when we expand and open our minds, we fire up receptors that we don't normally use. 
right? Uh, think about the tiny bit of our brains that we actually use. I, I can't remember what the percentage is, but what, what do they say that it is? Like 5% of our brains or something we use? I, I, I have no doubt that the rest of our brains all relates to our psychic abilities, our intuitive abilities that have been lying dormant. There you go. Oh my gosh. All right. I hope I got that all in because I kind of was getting, I was floating away there <laughs> so for a minute. I hope I said all that. I hope I answered the question. Anyway, uh, I think that probably satisfied all of you who asked. And, um, you know, I have to tell you that for more information on intuition and psychic abilities, I know I have some blogs on it. I have at least a couple blogs on that, and I will find them and I will link them in the description box below this video, okay? So that is it for today. Thanks for watching, and now go play with your cards. Bye, everybody.